All right, so I'm here in this very, whoa, I'm here in this very messy garage. And uh, today we are working on, and I'm sorry for the lighting, we are working on uh, broken strut. Actually, I'm sorry, not a broken strut. It is a broken, oh yeah. It is a broken uh, coil spring. Hopefully you can see it in there. Um, yeah, and I mean it's not just it's not just snapped or cracked. I mean it's it's broken. So I was out on. Anyways, uh, sorry, just getting used to this. Uh, I I can MS Pro gimbal. So uh, as you can see, denoted by the yellow chalk there that thing is busted you will need for battle here whoops in order to get this baby off uh, 21 inch or 21 millimeter sorry 21 millimeter socket for that if I recall let me just double check That's 27. It wasn't 27, was it? Nah. Yeah, 21. Yeah, 21 for that. 20, 21 for that. Uh, 20. Uh, 20. 21 for. I think it's just 21 for that. Sorry. First things first. Uh, safety is always first. So um, I'm using a uh, 410 Harbor Freight jack, and uh, I have a jack stand slightly behind it. Uh, my dad always, always, always insisted on safety with regards to jacking vehicles up. Uh, come on. That way. Uh, you will need to disconnect your upper A arm or control arm, whatever you call it in your area. You also need to remove the sway bar link. Uh, it does. I guess it doesn't matter if you do it from. Oh boy. Guess it doesn't matter if you do it from down below or up above. Uh, I found that it was easier to remove it from up above. And I uh, would recommend some lube in that. And there are three 15 millimeter. Uh, bolts on the top here you will need to remove as well. I didn't find myself needing to remove any other suspension components. Sorry, I know you're looking at the bumper. The joystick's kind of in a funny place. And then we have uh, this bolt here which in the back is a 32 or 31 uh, 32 did the trick for me I probably have a 31 in there and on the front it's just a it's a carriage bolt I guess is what some people call them um, and with a little bit of uh, love from this guy here on the back of it and I did need uh, vice grip channel locks for the bolts at the top of the uh, right here. Uh, so uh, because your ball joint starts to starts to spin. 
I found it easier to grab and pinch the metal at top um, to get the last oomph out of that uh, bolt or not I should say all right well I'll try to let this run and see if uh, see if we can get a spot where I'm kind of focus in here while I'm working on it with uh, with some light Uh, and if I can I check my review out for the Lux Pro uh, light, hanging light, the only downside to those complaint that I had was the uh, magnets kind of suck. Hopefully. I can turn this without looking directly into the light, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Oh, easy. Here we go. Oh, and it's 30 fits on the back of that carriage bolt that's holding the bottom of uh, the strut in place. I was using my handy dandy Makita impact and boys and girls have to step it up a notch you'll hear a lot of air hissing by because this uh, fitting is crappy ah. so, first nut off oh, I also have some red Loctite because it looks like they've all been red Loctited by the company uh, the other thing you'll need is a uh, floor jack. So the next item to remove here, let's see if we can get down to it. We'll move it around, around back. And we'll see if we can get this bad boy to focus in on, on there or not easy oh my goodness yeah
PV blaster. Definitely want to put a PV blaster on this one. Or WD-40, whatever floats your boat. Um, I would play music in the background, but YouTube likes to go ahead and remove videos for uh, copyright infringements. Even though I'm just listening to Pandora. So, I did have my wireless earbuds in, but they shut off, and I'm thinking that my cell phone may have shut off. Alright. Sorry, my, my knees hurt, and I can't find my pad either. Damn it. Oh, going in without anything, eh? So this is where I was having trouble at before. And you may find yourself in the same predicament. Now, you can get a small it's a 10 millimeter on the top of this guy no but it was smaller than that dang it oh my knee holy knee it was an 8 millimeter hang on folks we gotta find an 8 millimeter Seven and a half won't cut it. Eight millimeter. Or five eighths. Nine will not cut it. Or is it five sixteenths? Sorry. My uh mathematics are terrible. Seven millimeter will not cut it. Guarantee as soon as I start torquing on this baby, it's going to bust it. Old speed wrench. No insinuations. This one actually. And the corn wobbler. Oh. turns into like mud so before I ah oh, biscuit no sea biscuit yeah so what's uh, what's occurred here besides the usual muckery is that uh, my cheap Chinese socket there has Almost eaten its last 
bolt. So All sorts of funness. So yeah, that socket's just about bent out. And then what I found worked really well. If you can get yourself in there and be able to actually see something, because this side of the garage, you know, I should have done this video on the other side of the garage where I had light at, but how do I do that? If you can, without pinching the crap out of the boot, get yourself on there with a uh, snocket and you know we're gonna go with the big guy here. So if I can get in there, which will be easier if I. Hey, take that out. So hopefully you can still see, kind of see what's going on in there. Sorry if it's blurry, fuzzy. Move it back a little bit. Just doesn't doesn't like the lighting here, huh? Hang on. So, like I said, if you you get that on the bottom there without tearing your boot apart, grip it there. Make sure it's got a good grip. Otherwise, you're gonna find out that you're gonna rip your boot apart. Hopefully, I try to point this back up and we can see if we can get some some video. Oh. Uh, I think you can see well enough. <clears throat> and then Compressor kicking because my fitting leaks. And guess what? We're at it. Oh, my knees. I need my knee pads. This is ridiculous. I think we can see that a little bit better. So, this is the this is the 30 mil. I'm going to take this off first because um, that way you can add a little. Oh. Oh, I hate this sitting. Alright, we're going to kick in the air compressor now. Right?
Sorry about all that noise. So the object is to disconnect that and you can drop the A-arm. I'm having a real hard time holding this camera because the gimbal's, gimbal's all messed up. Yeah. There we go. Maybe. <laughs> it's just, it's going all over the place. So then the last four, three bolts are, uh, come on, on the top here. Steven Sam. Uh, right there. Uh, dang, dang, dang. So I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to find a spot that in here that's going to allow me to hold this. And work at the same time. We will try that. Easy there, Petey. Easy. Yeah. I'm gonna have to... Stupid ladders. Stupid pickup trucks. What are we looking at? I think that that is probably the best view. Sorry, folks, if it isn't, but that's where we're at. This is the 15 millimeter on the top of that. Finding a 15 millimeter might be a little bit of a challenge because. I have a tiny ass garage and it's raining outside. Isn't that the best? And my neighbors, they're probably really mad because I swear very, very badly. And their kids are probably all upset crying. Um, all right, where'd that 15 millimeter get to? Eighteen and life ain't got it. Eighteen and life to get through. If you don't know who sings that song, then ought to go to jail. All right, we got our fifteen millimeters, and uh, sockets and adapters. Uh, on the other side I needed an extension. I don't think I need one on this side. We'll see in a second. Hopefully this thing's still pointing at the right spot. And what the hell. A little bit extra light. And the other thing about these Lux Pros is they tear through the the battery life like crazy. Eh, I can see it well enough. You know, what happened to hood lights and automobiles, right? These look like shit. These also have, eh, you don't wanna grab them before they fall down. have a uh, red Loctite on the top of them they look like as well. And she's free. So let's go fight with her a little bit. Ask her who her mama is. See if her dad wants to come out and play. Baseball bats and guns and stuff. Yeah. 
Now, it wasn't that I didn't want to pay someone to do this. However, I didn't want to pay someone to do this. So, that's why I'm in the predicament I'm in now. And, uh, I found that if you manipulate it enough here, you can forcefully get it out. The hardest part is finding the right hangulation, as AVE would say. And, you know, sometimes you just have a, a manipulator. I'm going to use a strut again, so. Cock the wheel a little bit up. Hey, hey, no. Uh, almost there. You know, if you wanted to make it really easy, you could turn the tie rod, take the tie rod off. But, I'm not doing that. Oh, woman. You took the keys? Ah. What the hell am I going to do with you? Huh? Brain delay on the count. The little missus took the keys and I can't turn the wheel. What I'll say is that I'm very surprised that the gimbal uh, sat in that position for as long as I left this. So we're back at this. Um, I, ow, son of a bitch. Got the thumb. And it's as easy as that. Hopefully you don't smash your thumb like I did. So I called Ford today. Let's see if I can reset this gimbal into a position that is normal. Mode. Alright. And let's pan down and look at our damage here. Oh. Yeah, look at that. That is crazy. I mean, that's sheared. I didn't. I mean, I could see if it was like at the bottom. Let's take this over into the. Yeah, I am sorry, guys. My garage is so tiny. If anybody wants to donate a house and a garage to me, oh lord. So I mean, that's that's crazy. Oh. I, I, I don't, I gotta see if we can take a picture of this. I gotta turn this off and turn it to a picture. Was that not recording at all? Probably wasn't, so we'll try take two. Um, as I was pointing out here, if I didn't get it in the first shot, was, uh, that is a pretty crazy break where it broke at. So I contacted Ford about this and they said and I told them that I felt that it was a quality control issue you know it's kind of happening it's kind of happening here on on the other this was on the driver's side you know and I get that this vehicle is only a 2013 uh, f-150 though and I've read other other uh, Ford owners having you know this same issue and, and it's not at the bottom that's that's my problem it's not even it's not even here I mean this is completely here it's completely, you know, the rubberized uh, dipping is is completely, you know, gone. But that snapped at the snapped at the top. So um, I know my garage is so small. Oh, this is retarded. 
Sorry, I guess you can't say that. So, uh, let's put you back in the best hangulation to watch me bust my knuckles and bup, 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 bup. let's leave it like that. Oh, ginger ale, where did you go? Man, I really got my thumb there. Alright. Uh, something to take into consideration as well when you're purchasing uh, these struts and spring packages, because I just bought them, is sometimes the right here oh the uh if your nuts are <laughs> if your nuts are rusty uh you may not have um an easy time getting your your nuts off and the nuts do not necessarily come in the box so if you go to like advanced auto parts and i'll go grab that receipt real quick so I can share that information with you actually. Let's set this in first. Come on, baby. Work with me, work with me. Sucks, doesn't it? I just set the bolt in so they can keep it in place without trying to fiddle fart with it. And hopefully that was recording. Oh. And I'll go grab and share the receipt with you guys. And yes, I'm a fat middle-aged man. So the strut assembly for this was a quick strut. Uh, complete strut assembly. It was one zero two seven two three three six. Uh, the part number is one seven one one four one. If you order it online, what I did was I had I did three separate orders because I needed a serpentine belt as well. But you know they do the fifty or the twenty five percent. Uh, coupon but it's only up to fifty dollars so if you do it in two separate orders you can take advantage of the full fifty dollars um, you'd be stupid not to uh, the system set up that way for you to take advantage of it so do yourself a favor put in two separate orders use the same 25 percent off discount actually you know when you input your email on advanced auto parts um, they send you that another a whole different code for 25%. And my total cost was $175.95 if you couldn't see it in the, in the camera there. So we're gonna continue on with this menagerie. My three nuts. Oh, 
little red Loctite, all right? Not a lot. Just a little. That'll do, pig. And I don't think you need to see me put it back together, but uh, it's the reverse of taking it apart. How about that? <laughs> uh, have yourself a beer or a soda, whatever floats your boat. I'm going to dip a little red on my nuts and uh, ice my ass later because, like I said, I'm a middle-aged, overweight American. Um, for the rest of you, have a safe and happy new year. Don't drink and drive. Uber's cheap. Uber is a hell of a lot cheaper than uh, going out and getting pinched for a DUI. And oh, someone calling in? Uh, someone's calling in. Hang on. Can I answer the bat phone? What up? All right. At your house or mom's house? Your house? Probably not. Make me breathe. My breath is out. God help me. Normally I would leave those loose, I guess. Hey. Uh. Advertencia Resorte Comprimito No Quarter Si Pueden Surfier I really should go back to school for Spanish, huh? Spring under compression. Do not remove the nut on the top, folks. Uh, they certainly mean business when they say that. Now, the reason that I normally would leave the and that up top loose uh, and so that I have some room to negotiate that baby. Oh. But you know, it's lazy. Actually. <laughs> pickup trucks ah. right uh, darkness imprisoning me all that I see isn't gonna cut the monster. Uh. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to find
and uh, that means to turn that around. I don't have that same problem with the other side, I can tell you that. And I guess technically I could have it in backwards. Let's see, where's that? Uh, you know what? I think I do. Well, let's see, will this fit in there? <laughs> oh no. Uh, finding a bar now. To find a bar. I know I got solid steel rod somewhere, huh? Oh lord. Maybe this will work. Uh, floor uh, floor tack time, all right? Ow. Ow. Everything hurts. Yeah. Oh, you biscuit. I can see it's already gonna be an issue. Overturned it. There you go. Now, you know, the large bolt that I was using the whole time here, right? Trying to find it, it's always when it's under your knees, you can't find it. That's in. And I'm not sure how. I managed to let that roll all the way back there. My 30 mil nut. Again, a dab will do. I'll probably put a little more than a dab in there, but I'm almost at the end of this, this bottle. Put that on the grocery list. Now justify. Oh, what a leaky leaky.
really sorry about that, guys. I really am. And gals, I'm sure. You know, whoever's watching. I do this so that I can reconvene with myself. Started that. Be careful, boys and girls. Again, I this you know I don't buy a whole lot of Husky products because. Uh, I, you know, I just don't, but I'm sure there are some Husky fans out there. However, those uh, grips, they're pretty darn good. Uh, uh, we need upper control arm nut. And we do the same thing here. Now, if you look at these, uh, when you're pulling them, at least on the on the 2013, I imagine they, a lot of them are the same. You can see there's the red Loctite oh, all over. Yeah. And always make sure you got your nut started. Uh, this set is what I used on the top side. Again, make sure that it's, make sure that you're tight. You don't know, Lucy Goosey Crit. Oh, was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. Just to give you a, a little bit of hangulation, I'm probably going to end up having to go in there and turn the wheel. I see, my battery's dead and my mosquito, mosquito killer, I guess, is what the D Wall fans call it. This is cool. Oh my lord. I need some new fittings. Holy schmoly. 21. Fallen 21. Alright, 21. That's, of course, I would pick up 22. And 18. There's 21. Of course, they're black. You can't see them. Beat on these components too hard. Yeah, hopefully that's not a thread. No, it's just some heavy-duty Teflon in there. This thing's gonna come on anyways. enough
So now that that is uh, done making noise, um, I'm gonna unload the floor jack. It shouldn't have a whole lot in it to begin with. Uh, again, you want to make sure I'm gonna go over all the the key components here. So you want to make sure that you have your carriage bolt. Uh, tightened up you know the carriage bolt I'm gonna say sorry I don't, don't know where the light is now and of course it doesn't want to adjust quickly enough to accommodate video footage so the carriage bolt if I can operate this thing now come on holy moly Really? Like, seriously, you're pointed down now. I mean, yeah, there you go. I have the bloopers in here all over. So, you want to make sure that you tighten that baby up good. Make sure you have your carriage bolt tightened up. Make sure that you have your upper A arm. Control arm, whatever you want to call it. If you if you want to make it a little bit easier on yourself, I guess you could take the the tie rod end off. I I just didn't find it necessary. And inside here, make sure that you have your uh, housing bolts, the top of your housing bolts or nuts tightened up. You you probably don't want to hammer on them too hard. I don't know what the specifications are for torque. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sure it's all available somewhere out on the internet and for fart Christ Okay, thank you uh, This was a little bit harder on Ooh, my breaking If I can see what's going on This side was a little bit harder first off one of the other complaints too. I have about Ford while I'm at it is the stupid quick connect fittings for uh, your radiator <laughs> that was like but anyways I had a hard time getting in there I had to use a universal uh, uh, socket or not you know universal joint uh, smoke it uh, put it in your pipe use it and uh, that's the show folks uh, 2013 F-150 STX strut install i'm sure it's the same for every ford vehicle uh from who knows when to where when uh i i was reading 2006 had the had, or 2004 had the similar or similar issues i actually found someone who i worked with who also had a, a similar issue uh, with the spring uh, coil spring breaking uh, it sucks. I contacted Ford. I think I'll post in my uh, description uh, when I upload this video and get finished editing it. The responses from a Ford Customer Care Center. I'm not rich. Uh, my girlfriend's still paying. This is her vehicle. She's still paying on this vehicle. Uh, and it cost me another, you know, almost $500 in, in uh, struts. Um, and then I feel that it's a, it's enough of a concern and there's enough of an issue out there uh, with consumers that um, Ford should be doing something about it and uh, the conversation that I had with another gentleman was to uh, maybe contact the Federal Highway Administration since Ford didn't seem concerned about it. I think that all automobile manufacturers should uh, reach out to their consumers you know at, at given intervals as far as mileage goes not just as a uh, means of sending out recall information but I believe that they should send out information uh, or uh, requests for information regarding any types of services or repairs in order to make their product better one number two to offer better customer service uh, to the consumer uh, and 
uh, three, just because it, it, to me it feels, it seems like it's the right thing to do. Uh, I want to know, you know, how many other people out there have had uh, broken coil springs uh, on their newer vehicles. I mean, this is a six-year-old vehicle, so uh, if, if Ford's not going to do anything about it, I'm going to do something about it, I guess. Uh, if anything, it's just complaining about it, I suppose. But I've been a long time Ford uh, owner. My family has been a Ford owner, you know, all Ford owners. My father worked for and retired from Dana. Uh, so he taught me loyalty, brand loyalty with regards to uh, the Ford product. Um, it's a shame. And, and I feel like we've become a really, I mean, we, I know we've all been saying it, we're a throwaway nation. So uh, you're gonna have to watch that last section there. Uh, I'll probably tell you if you don't wanna hear me bullshit, uh, just to skip it. So uh, hopefully I'm in view and uh, the gimbal provided some type of professional uh, camera stuff, whatever.